So this is question number 23, 2014, paper 2. We are told figure A, B, C, D below is a scale drawing representing a square plot of 80 meters. Uh, so by scale drawing, it means from here it is drawn to scale, that is uh, from A to B, it is 80 meters, maybe represented by 4 centimeters. B to C is 80 meters, represented by 4 centimeters. That is what we mean by scale drawing. Uh, so part A on the drawing construct drama number one the rockers of point P such that it is equidistant from A and B uh, drama number two the rockers of point Q such that angle AQB is equals to 60 uh, B drama number one mark the mark on the drawing the point Q the intersection of rockers Q and line AD determine the length of BQ in meters. Roman number two, calculate uh, correct to the nearest meter square the area of the region bounded by the rockers P, the rockers of Q and the line BQ1. So uh, because we may not be able to draw this on the on the on the computer here, uh, I'm going to guide you on how to go about it. Uh, for example, we we'll start with A on the drawing, construct the rockers of point P uh, such that it is equidistant from A and D, A, D and B, C. So this is A, D here. This is D, uh, this is uh, B and this is C. So to the end, uh, the rockers of P equidistant from A, D and B, C, we draw a perpendicular line uh, of a b and d c so that will be the rockers of p uh, the rockers of q uh such that a q b we will draw an angle of uh, we can draw an angle of 60 here uh you draw an angle of six uh, that here 60 we bisect so it means on this side we we'll get an angle of 60 uh we draw an angle of 60 here we bisect here we use the property of the angle at the center uh, is twice the angle at the circumference or the, or the circumference that is uh, in cos and circles. So let's have the diagram showing these rockers. This is a diagram showing the rockers. Uh, so like I had explained, you can see uh, we have a perpendicular that is A, B and A, D, this line here. Uh, so to get that, you can use this point, you make a mark here use this point with your the sharp end of the compass make another arc there uh, use this point to make an arc here and use this point to make an arc the, where you join the two that will give you a perpendicular line which is which now define the rockers of p uh, such that it is equidistant that means that from here uh, this is equal to that from a b uh, to, and AD and BC they, they are equal uh, in uh, the, the line passes at the center then if you look at uh, Roman number 2 so that is the first type, type you do uh, rockers of points such that Q of Q such that angle AQB is equal to 60 so you can see here you construct an angle of 60 you do that by making a mark there and uh, you draw an arc, you use this mark and you make this arc that you are using the property of equilateral triangle. I uh, use this mark to make two arcs here. Uh, that, that is, uh, use this mark, uh, you can use this mark to make a point here and use this one to make that. So that when you join P and you that point, that will bisect that angle. So that is how we are ending up with angle at 30. If that angle is 30, and this angle here is 90 here, uh, then it means this angle here is 60. Uh, okay, like we have done here, we also do it at, at, uh, at A, that is we construct an angle of 60 and we bisect it, we draw an angle of that. Where that means, it means that since this is 30, this is uh, 30, this angle here is 120 degrees and this angle here is 60. So we can use this as the radius of the circle, use that as a center and we make now the we make now the the arc 
So this means that if you draw a line from A to the arc and you join to B, any any angle you that, that touches the, the 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 arc and AB is a chord, that angle will be 60. So that satisfies this that because if you draw, uh, let's say if you draw this angle here is 60. If you draw a line there and you draw a line there, that angle is uh, this angle is 60 because the angle at the center is uh, is uh, 120. If you take uh, another one, like uh, if you draw uh, in another point like that, and you draw like that, that angle satisfies this condition. So that is how we are getting the the the, the rockers of Q, such that at any if you put Q there, if you if you put Q there, it that angle will be. 60 this angle is 60 if you put your Q there that angle so all the angles that will satisfy is there so let's go to the next point uh, B uh, mark on the drawing uh, point Q the intersection of the rockers of Q and AD so this is AD so this is where you mark your AQ so that is how you end up with the Q1 uh, and then we are so determined BQ uh, using if you use a scale of one centimeter represent uh, 10 meters and you do it correctly the way I have explained you find that uh, B Q that is from here to here you find it is equals to 9.2 centimeter and because the scale is one centimeter representing uh, 10 meters so this is 9.2 you multiply by 10 you get it is 92 meters so you get uh, bq is equals to 92 meters because you are told to express in meters uh, roman number two we are told calculate correct to nearest meter squared the area of the region bounded by the rockers p uh, so we have our rockers p is this uh the and q uh, that is we have our q uh, that is bq1 uh, Q and B Q1. So this is the the rockers of P. So actually it is a shaded area. And how do we get the shaded area? Uh, what we need is area of a sector. So area of a sector, how do we get? It say it is theta over 360 uh, degrees. So that is uh, pi r squared. So we need the radius. If you measure the radius of this, you find it is 46 meters. Uh, what we need the angle what about this uh, this angle here since this angle is 30 it means this angle here is 60 uh, so it means this angle here is also 60 because they are vertically opposite angles so this means that we use 60 degrees divided by 360 uh, you multiply by pi which is 22 over 7 and you multiply by 46 uh, squared you can use your calculator and you'll be able to find that uh, this is equals to 1107.94 which we can approximate it is 1108 meters squared so that is the area so that is how you work out that question uh, uh, I wish we could do it uh, practically but uh, as per now it's not possible but I hope you have followed had a procedure on how to go about it so what you do is you can now do it on your own and see whether you'll be able to arrive to the results that i have described here like i have done